Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Hi guys, welcome back again. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the physiology of the respiratory system part one because there will be several videos to be able to uh, covering all of the respiratory system physiology, okay? So now uh, let's start, first of all, focus on the what respiratory system function. In the respiratory system function, in general, we have five functions, okay? Five functions, which are gas exchange, gas exchange, okay? This is the first one. The second one, we have regulation, regulation of blood pH. This is the second one. The third one, we have what? Voice production voice production the fourth one we have olfaction okay the fifth one we have what protection okay so now let's jump to the respiration respiration includes two process two process which are the first one we have what external external respiration external respiration and the second one we have what internal internal respiration okay so in the first one which is external respiration external respiration uptake of oxygen O2 and removal of CO2 carbon dioxide between lungs and environment while the second which is internal respiration uptake of O2 oxygen and removal of carbon dioxide CO2 between cells and their fluid medium okay so the respiratory system is made up of what of a gas exchanging organ which is called lungs okay lungs and it's the first one and pump and pump okay pump that ventilate the lungs this pump is made up of what is made up of pump is made up of first one we have what chest wall muscles chest wall muscles okay which increase and decrease the size of thoracic cavity the second one we have what we have least resistance resistance to what to airflow is in uh, in the very small bronchioles and terminal bronchioles because of their large cross-sectional area okay alveoli are lined mostly by thin layer of squamous epithelium the third one we have what we have brain center brain center which control the respiratory muscles. The fourth one we have what? Nervous. Nervous, which connect the brain with respiratory muscles. So as I said, the respiratory system is made up of a gas exchanging organ, which is the lungs, okay? Which is the lungs and a pump. Pump that ventilate the lungs. This pump is made up of what? Of chest wall muscles, least resistance to airflow, and brain center with nervous. And now let's jump to the respiratory airways. In the respiratory airways, we have what? We have anatomical classification. Anatomical classification and physiological classification. Physiological classification. According to anatomical classification, we have nose, pharynx, upper respiratory tract, okay, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, terminal bronchioles, respiratory bronchioles, alveolar duct, alveolar sacs, and alveolar lower respiratory tract. While in the physiological classification, we have nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, 
terminal bronchioles conducting zone i mean okay conducting zone divided 16 times okay then we have what respiratory bronchioles alveolar ducts alveolar sacs okay and alveoli respiratory zone dividing seven times okay this 23 divisions greatly increase the total cross-section area thus much reducing airflow through small airways to what to keep the trachea from collapsing multiple cartilage rings extend about five sixth of the way around the trachea which become less and less extensive and then they are completely gone in the bronchioles which by now aren't prevented from collapsing by any rigidity of their walls but uh, instead they are expanded by the same transpulmonary pressures that expand the alveoli okay in all areas of the trachea and bronchi not occupied by cartilage plates okay the walls are composed mainly of smooth muscles the walls of the bronchioles are almost entirely smooth muscles okay with the exceptions of the respiratory bronchioles that has only a few smooth muscle fibers and then we have what we have type one alveolar cells and few thick type 2 alveolar cell surfactant secreting cells in addition to the alveolar macrophages which engulf small particles reaching the alveoli so mast cells we have mast cells also mast cells also present which contain histamine responsible for what for allergic reaction i mean like bronchial asthma and then we have what we have respiratory functions of the nose respiratory function of the nose we can say one two three the first one we have what warming okay warming warming the air by the extensive surface of the what of the concave and septum the second one we have what the air is almost completely what humidified okay humidified okay the third one we have what the air is what is filtered okay so this is regarding what respiratory functions of the nose the first one we have warming the air by extensive surfaces of the conchi and septum the second one we have the air is almost completely humidified the third one we have what the air is filtered the nasal filtration of air for removing particles from air is so effective that almost no particles larger than what larger than four to six microns in diameter enter the lung through the nose okay so of the remaining particles many of the smaller size settle out in the smaller bronchioles as a result of what gravitational precipitation okay so some of the particles smaller than one micron in diameter diffuse against the walls of the alveoli and adhere to the alveolar fluid but many particles smaller than what smaller than 0.5 micron in diameter remain suspended in the alveolar air and are later expelled by expiration so particles that become entrapped in the alveoli are removed mainly by what by alveolar macrophage alveolar macrophage so an excess of particles causes growth of fibrous tissue in the alveolar septa leading to what leading to permanent debility okay so all the respiratory passages are kept moist by a layer of mucosa or mucus okay by a layer of mucus that coats the entire surface which is secreted by goblet cell goblet 
cells, okay, in the epithelial lining of the passages and by small submucosa gland. Slow, small submucosa glands. The mucus also traps small particles out of the inspired air and keeps most of this from ever reaching the alveoli okay so then the mucus itself is removed from the passage by the continual beating of the cilia by continuing beating of cilia which cover the entire surface of the respiratory passages and then we have what we have two important things in the bronchioles we have a and b a narrow was control of the bronchiolus, which the only important nervous control to the bronchiolus is by way of what of parasympathetic vagus nerve fibers, okay? While B, which is humoral control of the, of the bronchiolus, humoral control of the bronchiolus, which what which several different humoral substances are often quite active in causing bronchiolar constriction. Okay, two of the most important of this are what are histamine. Okay, histamine and the substance called what slow slow reactive substance of anaphylaxis. Okay histamine and slow reactive substance of anaphylaxis. Therefore, they play key roles in causing the airway obstruction that occurs in what? In allergic asthma. Okay, so in addition, the airway smooth muscle is highly responsive to CO2, high blood CO2 producing bronchodilation and low CO2 what producing bronchoconstriction so here we have what we have factors and effect okay so the first one we have what parasympathetic stimulation producing what bronchoconstriction okay bronchoconstriction well histamine and what slow reactive substance of anaphylaxis which is sra also producing what? Bronchoconstriction. Bronchoconstriction. Low blood, what? CO2 also cause what? Bronchoconstriction. While high blood CO2, we have what? We have bronco. Bronchodilatation. Dilatation. And also we have what? sympathetic stimulation to the what to the adrenal adrenal gland also epinephrine and norepinephrine i mean okay producing what bronchodilatation so we have a several factors and several effects okay if you have parasympathetic stimulation producing what bronchoconstriction histamine and slow reactive uh, substance of anaphylaxis we have what bronchoconstriction also low blood co2 also we have bronchoconstriction high blood co2 and sympathetic stimulation to the adrenal gland epinephrine and norepinephrine causing what causing bronchodilatation okay so here we have what we have the process of respiration can be divided into four major events which are the first one we have what pulmonary ventilation pulmonary ventilation pulmonary ventilation which means the inflow and outflow of air between the atmosphere and the lung alveoli the second one we have what pulmonary diffusion pulmonary diffusion pulmonary diffusion gas exchange in the lung okay the third one we have what transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood and the body fluids to and from the cells okay so the fourth one the last one we have what we have regulation of ventilation 
regulation of what of ventilation.